Hey everyone, this is GM with another product. This is SportsBot SS301 Gaming Combo. This combo is great for both beginner PC gamers who want a nice starter pack and for advanced gamers who need some updated equipment. It has a blue and black theme with a blue backlight. I'm going to go over each piece separately so you can get the specs and it's a little bit more clear that way. So the headphones have a leather cover design with very rich bass surround sound. Um, the wire is 2.5 meters long or 8.2 feet. It has clear speech. It is well padded on the headband as you can see and on the earpieces. It's really thick cushioning honestly so it, your ears and your head won't get tired uh, from wearing it too long. It has um, volume control on the what would be pretty much your uh, left earpiece and you can see the volume is like it's kind of hard to see. It's like a little knob right here. Um, and then we also have the mic, which is on the left earpiece, which goes up and stores away nicely and then comes down a little over, uh, I would say around a little less than 180 degrees. And the sides are adjustable as well, so it will fit most head sizes. And the wire also has an aux cord for the volume and the mic. So you can see here for the mic, just for the headphones. And then you also have the USB uh, port point for the port. Um, for an alternative, honestly, if you want the lighting, you need to use the USB port. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB port real quick. And I'm going to turn off the light real quick. And you should be able to see it is lighting up pretty nicely all throughout here and on the sides. So that's pretty nice lighting. It does have a good theme to it. So next we have the mouse. And honestly, to me personally, the mouse is the most important part. It has a nice feel and a good size. Both sides have finger rests right here. It's like a little ridge, so your finger will stay on it well. Um, as you can see, it's like kind of covering your finger so it doesn't like fall off the sides. And it's on both sides. It has adjustable DPI, which is pretty much the sensitivity of the cursor. The DPI can be set to 800, 1200, 1600, or 2000. Um, so pretty much for people who don't have any clue what DPI is, uh, if you've ever played, let's say, an Xbox or a PlayStation 4, and uh, you wait, you increase the sensitivity, pretty much, that's what you're doing with DPI. You're in, uh, increasing or decreasing the sensitivity for when you're playing games, or just in general for just moving the cursor faster or slower. It is USB plug-in, not wireless, which has benefits, of course, because then you don't have to worry about changing batteries. And some people do say it's a little bit more responsive that way. Um, the cable is 1.6 meters long, which is about 5 feet and 3 inches long. It has 5 plus 1 buttons. It has the main right click and left click. It has two mouse buttons right here, A and B. And then we also have the scroll wheel, which is a button. And then we have the DPI, which is a button also, but uh, it's one of those that you don't really use uh, when you're key binding. Because if you press it while key binding, it's also going to change the DPI, which you don't want happening. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in real quick so you can see it light up. Let me turn off the light. And as you can see, it does light up really well. On It's a very nice dark blue. It doesn't look like it in the video, of course, but it is pretty dark. As you can see, it lights up on the scroll wheel, on the side, on the other side as well, and on the back where the symbol is. And of course, the bottom we have uh, lights up for the cursor. All right, now for the keyboard, which a lot of people think is more important, or at least they want a fancier keyboard. So if you're a returning viewer, you know I've reviewed some gaming keyboards, and I'm going to start with the specs for this one. The wire is 1.6 meters, or 5 feet and 3 inches long. It has a blue backlight, it has three brightness settings, and it has a stand as well. I went ahead and plugged it in so you can see where it lights up, but I'm going to turn off the light so you can see that better. So... It isn't as bright as some keyboards, but it is very easy to see in the dark. Alright, so now I'm just going to go over some of the things that you can do with the keyboard. So, up here we have the multimedia keys, right up here and then right up here. And pretty much what they do is it's things such as music player, volume down, volume up, mute and previous. Then on the other side we have next, play slash pause, stop, homepage, and email. The backlight controls are as follows. To increase brightness, you hold down the function key, which is this one right here, and then the up key, which is right here. So it should already be maxed out. Yep, it's already maxed out. And then to put down the brightness, you hold function and 
down one more time, goes down again, and then if you do it again, it goes off. So I'm gonna put it back to max brightness. But if you wanna turn it off, there's another way. You hold function and the SL key, which is up here. Off, on. And then the, uh, this keyboard also has a breathing effect. And how that works is you would hold function and either PS or PB. So as you can see, now it's gonna breathe, which is a nice effect to have. Um, PB, we'll do the exact same thing, function and PB. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it on constantly, which I just do by pressing function and SL to turn off and then again to turn it back on. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the Windows, uh, Windows key lock and by doing that you just press function and Windows key, which is over here. And when you do that, you'll see that it makes a little symbol here that lights up and that means it is locked. You can also do that with the numbers lock, which is right here. So now there's two, and then caps lock. So all three right there. And it uh, says right here what is locked, so you don't have to like be like, oh, I, got it. I don't know which one's which. It'll say it right up here for you. And then you can also lock the scroll by just pressing SL. So now I'm sure you're wondering, what do I like and what don't I like about this keyboard? So some pros include, it has a number keypad over here, which a lot of gaming keyboards don't have, that I've noticed at least. The multimedia keys are also separate from the others, which I like, because sometimes it's uh, combined with other keys, so you'd have to press like function and something in order to activate it. Um, I also like that it has the breathing effect, and the backlight is bright enough for most people. There, uh, they. The keys are also very responsive, and it has a stand on the back, which is nice. So the cons, however, to me, is that it is not a mechanical keyboard, but for the price, you wouldn't really expect it to be a mechanical keyboard, considering it is a combination set. Um, but the price is pretty much worth the price. Having all three of these is definitely worth it. Um, I also did not like the fact that it is only one color backlight, but when you consider the fact that it is supposed to be a theme for everything, the mouse and for the headphones, it makes sense. It is a good beginner keyboard. However, if you are a really hardcore gamer, you've been gaming for a long time on PC, uh, I don't know if this will satisfy you. You might want something a little bit more high techy, um, something more like a mechanical keyboard, honestly. However, if you're also trying to get a mouse and headphones with the keyboard, you know, trying to get it all just over with, you want it all together, then this would be good even for a pro gamer because it, it saves you the time of having to find like stuff that matches sort of and it is a good set. The mouse is pretty good too, it does have the number of buttons I usually use which are two thumb buttons, the right and left click, a scroll key, and then of course the DPI change which is also nice. They're really simple, no drivers uh, necessary so you just play it as soon as you get it, it's great. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. The link to this product is in the description below. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or tweet me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for joining me.